This is a prophetic message for everyone who has been called by God in whatever capacity, whatever ministry, whatever kind of open door that the Lord has given you for ministry. This is a prophetic word for those of you who have allowed your calling to be laid aside. Um, that's why I've called this uh, particular video, this is a word for those to redig the wells. It's time to redig the wells of your calling. 2024, this is the year, this is the time that you need to begin to redig the wells of your former calling. Because God's call upon your life has not changed. He hasn't, he hasn't departed from you. He hasn't left you. He hasn't changed his mind concerning your call. He called you. He gifted you. He prepared you. He equipped you for the call upon your life. You're the one that has to work that out. I'm the one that has to work that out. Exactly what that call is. God's not hiding it. And God has not taken it away. It's still there. But what happens is the enemy comes along, whether through our own failure, whether through our own ignorance, whether through our own wrong choices, or whether through being faithful and obedient. And the enemy has come along, sometimes through people, sometimes through circumstances, sometimes from things from our past. The enemy will come along and he will fill in your well with debris with garbage, with pollution, with dirt. That's what he does. I want to remind you about Isaac. Isaac was a very powerful man, the son of Abraham. Abraham was a well digger. Abraham dug wells. And when Abraham passed away and went home to receive his reward, his son Isaac took over as a well digger, as his father did. And I want to read to you from Genesis Chapter 26, and it says this, All the wells which his father's servants had digged in the days of Abraham his father. Listen to this. The Philistines, the enemy, had stopped them. In other words, they filled them up with all kinds of garbage, debris, dirt, refuse, you name it. They filled them up, and they had stopped them, and they filled them with earth. And Abimelech said unto, he was the king of the Philistines of that time, Abim, Abimelech said unto Isaac, go away from here because you are much powerful, more mightier than we are. And so verse 17, Isaac departed and he pitched his tent in the valley of Gerar and he dwelt there. And Isaac d digged again the wells of water, which they had digged in the days of Abraham his father. For the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham. Verse 19, and Isaac's servants digged, well, uh, sorry, digged in the valley and found there a well of springing water. Basically what happened there was all these wells that Abraham had passed down to his son, and now Isaac had possession of these wells of water, which was obviously needed in the desert. Of course they were. They were, you know, you couldn't get by without having a well. And the enemy recognized that Isaac was much more powerful, much more powerful than they were. And, and they, they envied Isaac. They were afraid of Isaac. And so somehow they came along and they filled up the wells, Isaac's wells, with all kinds of garbage, even dead animals, whatever happened to be there for them to fill up those wells so that they were no longer useful no longer available to Isaac and to his tribe. And so the Bible says that Isaac redug the wells. He redug the wells. God blessed him for that. This is the prophetic word for you today. You need to redig the wells that somehow the enemy has been able to come and fill in and stop the flow of water. Now, this is the thing that you need to understand. The water is still there. That underground river, that stream is still there. It's still flowing. It's still active. It's still alive. It's still refreshing. It's still life-giving. But it's no longer available because the enemy has filled up that well of living water. Somehow the enemy has been allowed to stop the flow. 
And you know that the water represents the Holy Spirit. We know that. In fact, Jesus said that in John chapter 7, he said, whoever believes on me from out of his belly shall, what, flow rivers of living water. And Jesus said this referred to the Holy Spirit. You need to have the wells of living water beginning to flow again in your life. You need to have that living water begin to uh, be unstopped and unplugged. You need to redig your well so that that living water can flow and gush forth and be a refreshing and bring life to the people around you, but also to you. Also to you. Because when that well is stopped and plugged up and filled up with all kinds of debris from the enemy, it is cutting off the supply of your life of living water, refreshing water from the Holy Ghost. And you desperately need that. You desperately need that. This is a prophetic word that God has laid upon my heart for you right now. You've been discouraged. You have felt dried up. That's the reason why. You are dried up because that well has been stopped. That flow of water has been quenched. It has been plugged up. And so I'm going to pray for you. And I'm going to believe that God is going to give you the strength and the power, the determination and the perseverance to redig your well. It's going to take some work, but God's going to give you the grace. It's not going to be easy, but God's going to give you the strength, the power, the vision. He's going to give you the motivation. He's going to give you the, you know, just the, all that you need to redig that well so that the water can flow again of the Holy Ghost. Mm -mm -mm. The water of the Holy Ghost, living waters, is what you have need of now. And that's why God has put this upon my heart. That's why you're watching this video right now. Because, because God is restoring that refreshing stream. It's still there. It's still there. And once that debris is removed, and, and whatever that debris happens to be, it could be condemnation of the enemy it could be guilt from failure it could be sins from your past perhaps that have not been dealt with not being repented of not being forgiven it could be all kinds of it could be words that people have spoken of you it could be curses that have been leveled against you it could be all kinds of things it could be fears fears that are holding you back from the calling of god upon your life Listen, I knew when God called me to the ministry. Listen, this is crazy because I knew it the very night I got saved. Four, over 40 years ago. The night I got saved, I knew, I knew, I knew. I couldn't understand it. I couldn't explain it. I couldn't describe it. But I knew God was calling me into the ministry, that God called me. And it has been an adventure. It has been a challenge. It has been difficult. <laughs> It has been a blessing, and I have dealt with the enemy over and over again throughout those years. There's been times I've allowed the enemy to plug up my well and to stop the flow of living water, and I became dry, I became weary, I became useless, I became miserable, I became just you know empty inside, empty inside, nothing there, no life. And you know, God did not give up on me, and God's not giving up on you. God is, God is speaking to you right now. Redig your wells. Redig the well of the calling that I've put upon your life. Redig that well. I have not changed my mind. I have not removed my call from your life. Redig the well now, now, this very year, 2024, is your year of increase, your year of blessing. I'm telling you. The Bible says that God blessed Isaac when he redug the well and allowed that water to flow again. And so I speak that to you today. Redig the well. That sound that you're hearing right now, that's a squirrel trying to get into our church. Somehow they've gotten into the roof and into the ceiling. So he's up there right now trying to get in. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> Nevertheless, I'm going to pray for you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you for each viewer. Lord, the call of God is upon their life. Lord, you have called them. You have spoken to them. You've made it clear to their heart. And God, I pray, Lord Jesus, we come against the enemy, Lord, that has allowed, God, the, the dirt, the earth, the garbage, the refuse, 
the pollution, that he has come somehow, Lord Jesus, uh, behind the scenes, and, he's, he, and he has filled up the well, the well of their calling. And Lord, we break that power of the enemy over their life right now. I speak that word right now. Be broken, enemy, be broken. Your power is defeated. We redig the wells together to this very day. We redig the wells together right now in the name of Jesus. We speak, Lord, a loosing of the Holy Ghost. We speak a loosing of that living water to flow again, hallelujah, and bring forth life and bring forth prophetic utterance and bring forth prayer and bring forth holy desire and bring forth passion and bring forth, Lord, the power of God once again to flow and to overflow. Oh, the word of the Lord, hallelujah. Let the word of the Lord flow up from your heart today, from your spirit today. Let it come, let it come, let it come with life, with strength, with authority, with power and blessing, with healing and restoration. Let that river flow with restoration right now. I, I prophesy restoration in your life right now. What the enemy has stolen, what the enemy has plugged up, it is broken and it is released. That dam has been broken, glory to God, and it is released right now in your situation. And so, God, we thank you right now, Father. God, that all is being restored. The wells are being redug. And God, thank you. Lord, that there's going to be a greater flow than ever before. I prophesy that today, that the, that the flow of the well of water is going to be greater than it ever has been in your life this year, 2024. There's going to be such a flow of living water. Hallelujah. And it's just going to continue to flow and overflow and overflow. And all around you, everything you put your hand to, is going to receive the blessing of the Lord by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be faithful, be strong, the Lord says. Dig, the Lord says, for I am with you. I have given you strength. I've given you power. I've given you tools. I've given you everything that you need to redig that well. Jesus is saying to you right now, for out of, your, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. For the Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. He has not abandoned you. He has not forsaken you. And he will give you the power, yes, as you put your hand to the plow, as you take that shovel and begin to redig, the Lord says, watch and see, because that flow is going to come forth out of that well with such a with such a dynamic, a dynamic power that it's just going to bring healing to the land. It's going to bring refreshing and reviving to the to the scorched land, to the parched land. It's going to be re bring revival to your family. It's that river is going to bring revival to your finances, it's going to be revival to your health. It's going to be revival to, to the call of God, your ministry, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Well, I have to tell you, that squirrel, as you probably heard, was quite a distraction. But, you know, I believe that the Lord has spoken. I really do. I believe the enemy has not wanted this message to go forth. He doesn't want your well to be redug and revived. And flowing again. But in Jesus' name, watch and see the flow. Watch and see the flow. Just tell the Lord right now, God, I'm going to redig this well. And it's going to flow again, even greater than it did before. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. And bye-bye for now.